As researchers learn more about the symptoms of COVID-19, one of the more surprising symptoms is itchy, discolored toes. Sean Stryker spoke with the doctor and patients about COVID toes. Danielle Reedy had just returned home from a trip to Morocco when the big toe on her left foot began to itch. Um, but I can remember specifically having one day where I was leaving the house and I had my my foot in a, in a shoe and I felt like I needed to actually take my foot out and scratch it. A week later, all the tips of the toes on her left foot were itching, irritated and inflamed. But one evening, it sort of dawned on me like, gosh, why do I have such itchy toes? So I, I went to Google and Google first thing that popped up was this condition uh, or this presentation of COVID-19 showing up as itchy toes. It's a condition known as COVID toes. Danielle tested negative for coronavirus, but her dermatologist, Dr. Tola Oyasanya, says a negative test doesn't necessarily mean she didn't have it. The young, healthy patients that tend to have this condition they tend to develop this late into their disease course. So if they were having low grade symptoms, maybe around day nine, day 10 is when they develop these changes in the toes. And if those patients are then sent for a COVID-19 test, we're finding that most of those patients are actually testing negative. Dr. Oyesanya says it's unclear why COVID toes happen, but they tend to see it in patients with milder symptoms. Most patients who have these toe findings are not becoming very, very sick they're not systemically ill. They're not having symptoms that are driving them to the hospital. They just have low grade symptoms if they have symptoms at all. That was the case with Danielle. So it wasn't really until I, I called my doctors that I was comforted into like, okay, we've seen this like, and it looks like this is sort of a mild presentation and that ultimately you'll be okay. Dr. Oye Sanya says COVID toes are typically seen in younger patients. If you think you or your child may have them, contact your doctor. It's usually something they can check out with a telemedicine appointment. In Baltimore, Sean Stryker for WJZ.